ओके तो आप सबका स्वागत आज जो विषय दो विषय मुझे दिए गए हैं जो आपसे मुझे शेयर करने हैं एक है जनरल गाइडलाइंस फॉर रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी और दूसरा है मेडिकल राइटिंग हम इन दो ही विषयों पर आज बात करेंगे रिसर्च पहले रिसर्च क्या है री एंड सर्च इट मीन्स ऑलरेडी समथिंग इज एग्जिस्टिंग एंड वी आर रिसर्चिंग इट बट इट डज नॉट मीन दिस मच ऑल ये रिसर्च इज रिसर्चिंग समथिंग नो टू सर्च समथिंग न्यू इज ऑल्सो रिसर्च एंड टू रीवेलीडेट द ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग नॉलेज वॉट एवर इज एग्जिस्टिंग वी आर पुटिंग द सेम नॉलेज इन डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज और इन वॉट एवर लैंग्वेज इट इज रिक्वायर्ड इज ऑल्सो रिसर्च एंड इन रिसर्च मैथडोलॉजी एंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ रिसर्च इट रिक्वायर्स ए लॉट ऑफ टाइम सो मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ रिसर्च ऑब्जर्वेशनल क्रॉस सेक्शनल क्लिनिकल थ्रेटिकल एंड सो ऑन कन्फाइनिंग टू अवर मेडिकल रिसर्च एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट योअर सिस्टम ऑफ मेडिसिन सुअरिपा सो दिस नॉलेज इज एग्जिस्टिंग सिंस लॉन्ग and uh, when you have studied and your teachers has taught you shown you patient being treated by your system it means this is a known system and proven system why do we require no research again question why do we require question why research today we require research to revalidate to reproduce the knowledge in other language in scientific language what we call what is called scientific language and what is that scientific language that language is evidence based language if you say that this medicine basa acts on a cough so no one will agree so all systems traditional system say this adatoda vasika is very good for blood purifying reducing the quantity of blood reducing the water content of blood particularly speaking thereby it uh, checks the bleeding disorders and also it expectorates the sputum so this is there in the literature but if you uh say to the biomedical science or evidence based medicine they will say where is the proof where is the proof you if you go with your book this is the book this is translated in english and this is written so this evidence is not accepted this evidence is not accepted by scientific world so you have to create a evidence and there is a systematic approach to create an evidence okay and that approach is known as research methodology research methodology and what does that contain that research methodology uh, has certain components which are very essential okay you make one proposal as you are phd scholar you all might have submitted a synopsis that is known as research proposal or synopsis okay and what does that synopsis contain there are five six sections of that research proposal na introduction aims objectives materials methods huh? 
and uh, there are other uh, segments after material methods uh, what are the investigations you are going to do how you are going to measure what are what is the inclusion criteria exclusion criteria how will you measure to so what is the assessment criteria and ultimately how will you analyze whatever you have observed that is a analysis and where where we have to put statistics we have to put statistics and which statistical tool you will apply in your research okay this whole framework of your synopsis is nothing but this research methodology okay now two three things more are essential in this research methodology hmm? one is registration of your research work ctri i don't know whether for your system you have uh, incorporated a, a ctri registration or not not yet so this CT central trial registry of india what is this full form ctri central trial registry of india and this ctri registration is governed by government of india and the main office is in icmr new delhi where it is so they have a modern segment they have a ayurved segment unani segment homeopathy segment and you can also incorporate your segment there okay so whatever research proposal is registered okay now your research proposal synopsis is registered with this central university okay so before initiation of your research work you have to get registered with that registry so your subject your methodology total synopsis will be registered there why it is necessary it is necessary for many points what is going on overall in the country about the research and on which subjects the research is already going on so by uh, searching in the clinical trial registry you can know so these this much work has already been done at this this place and this is going on so that is the importance and government also keeps a watch that something is going on and this way it is going on thirdly the importance is uh, uh, third thing which required in ctri when you are registered for ctri you will get registered and your one technical person is needed there because your terminology is only understood to that person so in our system we have given one senior research fellow to the icmr office unani people has uh, council has also given so likewise it, it it will be there okay so that person can be part time because less number of researches are going on in soripa so that person can be part time okay but that has to be managed by the ministry so that is also very require uh, very much required and another very important requirement is ethical institutional ethical clearance okay you cannot go ahead in a research without these two things okay institutional ethical clearance as well as with the ctri registration okay and uh, the ethics committee of the hospital or the institution has a framework who will be the chairman who are the people to be there in the i think your institution might having a iec institution ethic committee is there and uh, that committee examine the new proposal 
and what are the issues to be examined whether this research is needed or not first of all whether this should be done or not number 2 whether it is possible or not thirdly has it a national or international impact if you do research on this subject will it make some new outcome new contribution the problem you have taken for research will be analyzed by and who are people there and whether you, when you are doing a clinical research you will involve general public na so they have their rights all citizens have their right and they have the right to choose a doctor they have right to choose a system of medicine they have the right to withdraw from the treatment and safety whenever this research work is going to be done the ethics committee contains doctors also they contain a lawyer also they contain a social worker also and there will be people from your system also one coordinator will be from your system who can explain to the external people who are not aware about the system of swaripa you can tell in very simple language this way we are going to do this is the problem and this is the drug and we will admit the patient we will not admit the patient patient has to come uh, every week or every month it is not like that every day patient has to visit you if it is what about the livelihood of the patient if you are calling daily and what is the problem if is if the problem is related to females whether there is some one in your research team who is a female that patient must be examined seen treated in the presence of a female so those ethical issues social issues are taken care by the social person and if you are calling every day then if he is the bread and butter earner of that family how his family will run how he can spend money to travel to hospital daily are you giving some incentive to the patient so this is also required ethics committee see to this also if you are calling you have to pay patient per visit for research because you cannot burden the patient for the sake of your research so that way it is required and is there any risk in your research if there is a risk like in corona period epidemic whatever research was done all patients were given insurance so insurance coverage in the research is also one of the aspect if risk involvement is there then insurance and that insurance has to be covered by the institution where this research is going on so these issues uh, may not arise all the time but all these things are to be seen by the ethics committee and ethical committee can suggest something which has to be incorporated okay then comes the uh these two uh, things were uh, are very important and as you have started your research program in the institute very initially so both these things should not be taken very lightly you put ctri also you write to uh, the ministry or uh, whatever who is regulating your research and education if this uh, 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 whosoever is there then he they should talk to the icmr and this ctri must be there now friends uh what is the present status of research in swaripa i want to know so that i can talk uh, 
which methodology will be much suitable for the system of suvarpa how much the research has already been done much research has been done or not less not much so far it's more than literary research literary literary research is there and what about clinical and observational observational uh, in terms of us, some of the people have come and taken observational studies more and as of the clinical there were lots of these issues coming up so i, I don't think your clinical research has been done okay. Okay. but here in the phd scholars some of us are pursuing for this uh, okay. clinical research fine and how to go about that also fine fine thank you very much now in your system also like ayurved i think uh, a single medicine approach to the disease is not there there is a protocol approach you have a protocol you have a two three uh, combinations. combinations or uh, some therapy some medicine uh, some diet regulation and all that that protocol involved is involved in your research also like ayurved so uh ayurveda people were misled in the beginning and uh, the modern line of research methodology started fo uh, being followed uh, from the very initial way and single medicine treatment and research was conducted many a times okay and this approach gave a adverse name rather than gaining something because our approach to the patient is not by single molecule or single medicine so in the from the very beginning i will like to suggest to the research scholars and teachers don't go by that methodology we have always to incorporate the protocol and that in that protocol certain procedures are also personalized or customized to the individual patient also that is also one of the approach is it so that independence you must keep you can compare your treatment protocol with the standard with this what modern people give you in one group you give that treatment and in other group the soarpa treatment protocol for the same disease in that if if certain therapy is to be given diet regulation so diet regulation for me will be different him will be different so that independence should be your diet will be like this so you go by your own protocol but don't go by single medicine research proposal okay this will otherwise a time will come that their medicine does not work they will say if you give a protocol it will work it will work okay this is the one very important thing i want to uh, i wanted to tell you secondly selection of the problem selection of the problem is a very big task but we don't put our energy labor on that issue while uh, selecting a problem means making a research question Make, selecting a problem means making a research question what i want to do and when you isolated that i want to do work on bronchitis okay then the other next job is what has already been done a detailed literature research and website research has to be done what has been done and in the outcome of that research what are the issues still not solved now you go on precising go on with this bronchitis is the problem i will go for copd and in copd also 
नॉन स्मोकर्स एंड इन स्मोकर्स ओके एंड इफ वी कैन फर्दर पिन पॉइंट इट सो यूर प्रॉब्लम शुड बी वेरी पिन पॉइंटेड इट शुड नॉट बी ब्रॉड अदरवाइज यू विल यू कैन नॉट शो द रिजल्ट योर रिजल्ट विल बी वेरी वेग इफ यू पिन पॉइंट दैट आई वॉन्ट टू वर्क ऑन द ब्रॉन्काइटिस दैट टू सी ओ पी डी एंड वेयर द एक्सपायरेटरी वॉल्यूम इज दिस मच If expiratory volume is very low, very low, you point make a point to that investigation. That this much of the uh, problem in bronchitis I am going to address. So that should be the one of the aim. Don't go by vague. I will be working on bronchitis. So pinpoint and for that making that. literature research and other researches already done what are the drawbacks in that research what issues has not been solved and after you pin point that this is the issue in this problem has not been solved so now you come to your clinicians physicians so in bronchitis this problem is still not solved what we can do then you decide the protocol okay then you decide the protocol so making a research question should take a good amount of time and energy and such for that you must have a very good access to the internet there are many research portals library should be enriched and e library should be there and the guide must be very vigilant to put the student on job you search this you search this you search this and what is your observation what is the lacuna what is the drawback and where is the question still unsolved this is the question will so that point is very important then comes the question of aims and objectives we usually make a very big aim and objective aim and objective means we fix a target we commit if this is we are going to do don't commit very big in research as your question research question is very uh, pin pointed your objective should also be very simple and precise don't make big big otherwise when ultimately you analyze the results even you don't talk about what i have already committed in aims and objects so your focus while giving the summary and concluding your research on your objective what i achieved out of this objective i have fixed following the methodology which i adopted so that should be very simple and pin pointed then comes the material and materials and methods see in materials and method because this evidence generation is for the medical medical scientific world so you can cannot uh, isolate yourself from the modern medical science when you take a problem this problem is existing in soarepa system of medicine we term it like this these are the symptoms what you give there uh, what is the uh, modern terminology to these all symptoms and accordingly what is the disease today we call to this problem otherwise you take a modern problem and uh, what is there in the soarepa literature but you have to give the transliteration translation and technical modern medical terminology to all each and every symptom okay don't ignore it because when when any scientific uh, person will read your research he when see all the terms and uh, 
material written is in their own language he will not read he will not read okay so to make uh, it appealing interesting you give that language that is that is very much required all inclusion exclusion criteria should be very specific very specific and investigations see usually in our systems all subjective parameters are given isn't it all subjective but we have to create a objectivity so this will be one of the reason you are uh, putting the modern terminology and modern disease also so what are the investigations required for that disease as a diagnostic prognostic and outcome as a outcome suppose blood parameters are there rheumatoid arthritis if i talk ra factor esr is raised um, crp is highly raised in that condition okay and uh, these inflammatory mar- other inflammatory markers markers prostaglandin leukotrienes etc etc so these are the markers if your treatment has certainly given a relief to the patient whether there is any relief uh, change in these markers or not at least in every disease you should have such objective parameters and those objective parameters should be timely because initially in rheumatoid arthritis esr was one of the major criteria but today it is not there today inflammatory markers are the benchmark so to make your research acceptable these objective parameters in your research must be there so secondly because to those parameters you can statistically analyze what about the subjective parameters how will you analyze you can you you can numerate them if pain is a feature suppose pain is a uh, subjective parameter it can be objectified a scale method is there 12 point scale method and patient pain points this this is no pain one end is no pain and this is the pain which you cannot tolerate okay so you now put your finger at what point your pain is okay next time when he come now put your finger where is your pain so that way that number can be created like uh, there is a uh, blood in the sputum blood in the sputum so how will you measure it how will you measure it so there there are methods there are method so whole day every time you used to spit blood was there earlier every time now in a day in a how many times you feel so that decrease in number is there no? it means if if 3 4 times a day if he is having now and later on after 15 days only once or twice and in after one month there is no it means from 10 time to 0 it has come okay every time you can give a mark four number uh three four times three four times you give two one or two time give one and no sputum zero so this this way all these uh subjective features symptoms are numerated in modern medical science these uh assessment uh, parameters are already existing you can adopt them as such you can adopt them because these are the scales which has been validated okay these are validated scales which people are using in research methodology so if you use those all scales no one can uh, deny the outcome of your research so whatever the 
these scales you use that you should name this scale has been used and these parameters we have used so that must be there okay so if mri e changes are one of the criteria that investigation should be there if x ray changes are there if ultrasound sonic changes are uh, the uh, assessment criteria then it should be there so at least you use a good uh, objective parameter in research also that methodology will be useful okay then involve a biostatistician from the very beginning of your research proposal okay you involve a biostatistician from the very beginning of now how many years this phd program is there two years three years three years in first six months you are training them the scholars on a research methodology etc yeah. and statistics course coach is supposed to start in january sir so who will teach them so i guess uh, there will be like other professors from the two bio statistician see uh, there is one more provision i can if you talk to vhu they are also starting the same course from january your scholars can join there no no i don't permit i don't permit but your institute has to talk to them your institute has to talk to them okay uh, that six months uh, course they can do from there and there is an exam and after passing that exam the next uh, phd enrollment is there that that is one of the method okay otherwise uh, the same faculty you have to hire and uh, you have to make it uh, make a provision a, a biostatistician will be required and one person on research methodology will be required and there is a, a set course for that a uh, set course for that and they have to pass it and the meaning of that is after you uh, completed your that pass pass your course then you are to Uh, write your synopsis by knowing that learning so now i am going to work on this and this will be my research proposal okay so uh, uh, that is a very good program uh, of 6 months learning without that uh, uh, you cannot go for the research this will be just uh, untrained person swimming in the river aren't trained person swimming in the river okay now comes the uh, statistical analysis so whosoever you have already involved uh, according to your parameters and uh, uh, according to the problem he will set your sample size this is the bio statistician who sets the sample size and to set a sample size how much uh subjects clinical trial this will be required how on how many individual this observational study survey study will be can be done that depends upon the prevalence of the problem number 1 the sample size how many subjects this research will be done that depends upon the prevalence of the problem then how much significance you want to draw out of your research how much significance 90% significance 95% more the significance more will be the number and if the problem is very prevalent highly prevalent more will be the number and if problem is very rare this will be less number this way uh you are to approach with this methodology you are to approach your research now the second issue uh, comes to that of medical writing medical writing uh again a clinical or literary in literary also
वट एवर यू राइट वट एवर यू राइट यू हैव टू गिव ए एविडेंस इफ यू राइट समथिंग फ्रॉम योर लिटरेचर ना यू हैव टू साइट द बुक श्लोक दर्स वेयर इट इज रिटर्न एंड सिमिलरली इफ यू आर राइटिंग योर थीसिस और ए पेपर ऑन योर थीसिस देन दैट आउटकम शुड हैव ऑल्सो वन रेफरेंस ओके बट लेस ऑफ द लिटरेचर सच लिटरेचर इज ऑल पब्लिकेशन ऑन रिसर्च आर अवेलेबल विद द सिस्टम देन द बेस्ट थिंग टू राइट टू प्रोपोगेट इज द केस रिपोर्ट केस रिपोर्ट राइटिंग एंड यू आर अटेंडिंग मैनी ऑफ द पेशेंट्स डेली ऑन डेली बेसिस एंड मैनी पेशेंट्स हु हैव ट्रेवल्ड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अदर प्लेस फॉर दैट प्रॉब्लम बट इफ यू फाउंड दैट यू हैव ट्रीटेड इट एंड पेशेंट हैज गॉट रिलीफ एंड योर इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑल्सो सपोर्ट दैट सपोज when the child came or person came he was not able to uh, walk 10 uh, steps but now he can walk up to 100 steps this is one of the observation okay so such an patient with a proof with a proof what can be the proof you can video shoot the person traveling he started after 10 steps he sat down okay and after your treatment of one month or two month you can show him uh, walking up to 100 feet because whosoever will publish your case report he will ask for evidence you have to submit that video to him otherwise he will not if other changes has happened other changes has happened that should also be recorded and that should also be and for that case report writing there is one guideline care guidelines c a r e case report uh, uh case report writing the care guidelines are there and with that if you read those guidelines they are very simple guideline Uh, in that what was the uh, problem you are going to write you have to give a uh, a very brief two three lines about that problem and now you give the uh, history of the case don't disclose the name and don't uh, disclose the number registration number so identity of the patient should not be disclosed okay but you give the name of the hospital where it he was registered where the patient was registered okay then with what complaints patient presented and what was the treatment history where he has already taken treatment and you preserve the copy of all those previous treatment papers reports that should be with you because you will find it i already already diagnosed case now as per your system approach examination what is this problem you give that name in soarepa system this this type of problem is known as this and what is the pathology behind that you write down that and what is the clinical approach for that given one para right now Uh, with this uh, patient history and uh, system approach we gave this treatment what was the treatment given for how many days what approach was adopted and at what intervals you followed the patient and what was your follow up observations for what you observed you observed for walking time you observed for stiffness you worked for pain you observed for uh, his body strength okay 
so all those observations were uh, made every week and after one month this was the outcome and after three months patient was okay so if you give this systematically way keeping the record and whatever you have given keeping the rec uh, record with you with you then write in this systematic manner your that this in traditional systems case report writing is also one of the accepted evidence and case series also case series if similar problem 3 4 10 patients you have observed you can you can also uh, put one by one and in every case you have uh, adopted a same uh, line of treatment but the medicine differed or some therapy differed so whatever was the difference in individual case what was the common that you keep and what different we made in this patient because this patient was of this temperament or prakriti that's why we made this change and the outcome was was similar so case report and case series writing is also very uh, important thing and you you go uh, on internet this care guidelines are already there and there is one exclusive journal from all india institute of ayurveda they are publishing it quarterly on case reports only so such case report if you give them send them they will uh, certainly uh, make corrections in the first go and if you could able with their guidance if you change the language and put in a right format in two three uh, this uh, uh, attempts you will be very much well up uh, expert in writing a case report okay but you initiate unless otherwise you start you won't learn and uh, uh, they are the publishing in charge editor dr galib is very uh, helpful person he will guide in all ways always and do, those reports should come and uh, thirdly lastly i would like to tell ke uh, this indian institute of public health indian institute of public health it's in delhi okay so they conduct these uh, regular uh, one week programs on research methodology medical writing etc etc okay you go to their website and see their schedule if your director can put one message to them ki whatever new training programs on research and uh, medical writing are going on please add our email id uh, to that uh, your program so that information will continuously come and uh while studying uh, all i i will say teachers as well as phd scholars must attend those program so that way a continuous learning will be there and you can apply that learning of medical writing in your system and that way you can improve okay now uh, what this much i wanted to uh, speak to you whatever you any query uh, you want to discuss you can put yes that uh, to uh, lab investigations on uh, tissue are done one is in vitro study and one is a in vivo study in vitro study means a uh, cell line study okay now the diseased cell cells are now available in uh, many research labs so they put these cells on vitreous plate and put your drug molecule on that okay and uh, after that is treated with that uh, molecule medicine your medicine again they see the 
बिकॉज दे ऑलरेडी नो वट आर द बायोकेमिकल पैरामीटर्स विच आर विच विल बी अवेलेबल इन दिस सेल लाइन सो आफ्टर ट्रीटिंग इफ दे इन्वेस्टिगेट इफ दोज बायोकेमिकल पैरामीटर्स हैज कम डाउन इट मीन्स दिस ड्रग इज वर्किंग ओके द अदर इज इन वीवो इन एनिमल्स सेम डिजीज इज डिवेल्प्ड इन एनिमल्स दीज द मैथड्स आर देयर वी कैन डिवेल्प ए इन्फ्लामेशन वी कैन फॉर बूंड हीलिंग वी क्रिएट ए बूंड एंड देन अप्लाई अवर मेडिसिन इफ यू ट्राई टू वॉन्ट टू ट्राई ऑन फीवर टेम्परेचर देन समथिंग इज इंजेक्टेड एंड इन एनिमल टेम्परेचर इज देयर दैट टेम्परेचर इज मेयर सो आफ्टर क्रिएटिंग दैट टेम्परेचर द मेडिसिन इज गिवन and then the uh, in how many one group is given that medicine the other group is not given in the treated group in how many hours the temperature came down in untreated group in how many hours the temperature came down any complication to the treated or untreated so all these are observed so these these are mimicking the uh, biological response of the human mimicking but not 100% it's not 100% but this evidence is is seen as a primary evidence okay in vitro in vivo if positive results are there then <coughs> then same thing can be tried on the human okay the other issue which i left uh i i should appraise you also in research whenever we do this clinical research three phases are there three requirements are there okay number number 1 is quality number 2 is safety and three is efficacy note it down quality whatever you are giving whatever you are intervening to the patients it should have quality and what is what does that mean quality means if i made one tablet today it its parameter should be fixed and same tablet if i prepare after one one year the biochemical parameters as well as hptlc and other parameters should be same it does not mean that this year you collected in the rainy season and other in winter season the medicine uh, got differed no that medicine is not quality medicine so for quality the collection of the material raw material their standardization then in standardization all physico chemical parameters including pesticide load and including heavy metal load these has to be checked then you make a formulation following a standard operational procedure and that should be fixed after your formulation is made again for that formulation all those physico chemical and uh, um, other parameters pesticide and heavy metal load etc the they have been specified these parameters has been specified that their limit should not be more than this otherwise if the pesticide load is more it means you, your raw material is not from the right place you collected the material from a place which was already treated by heavily treated by pesticides if it is having a high quantity of heavy metals like mercury chromium lead it means this drug you have collected either from a contaminated area or from the road side so this will not work so this medicine you cannot give after you have ascertained the quality then you have to go for safety and for safety you give that medicine in a 50 time more dose to the animals and you feed that animal for a long time if the if your medicine 
in humans is to be given for 3 days 5 days 10 days then for 28 days that medicine is given to the animal if it, this is this medicine can be used for long time life long patient can use for life long then 180 days that medicine has to be given to the animal and after 180 days or whatever this is known as acute toxicity for 7 days sub acute toxicity for 28 days and chronic toxicity for 180 days so this is the time period of feeding the animal for uh, toxicity study after that how many animals died we have to report then that animal is sacrificed his brain his heart his liver and his kidney are taken out and histology is done whether there is a an deviation from normal histological uh, picture or it is same if there is no change in the normal and feeded animal it means medicine is safe no animal died it means safe but that and then his blood is taken and that blood is again examined for liver function test kidney function test if liver function and kidney function has not changed it means it is not unsafe it is safe and in histology of brain heart kidney and liver if there is no change it means medicine is safe so that has for a new formulation you have to do this but if it is a classical formulation you have taken from your literature in your clinical trial it is it, it is a, um, not mandatory may not be mandatory but if you do this study simultaneously then for international acceptance the safety of your drug will be accepted okay yes and lastly efficacy efficacy for efficacy you have to go for the if it is safe then give to the patients and that is known as phase 2 trial phase 1 is safety phase 2 is for on a smaller sample for dose fixation and for uh, no adverse effect for 15 days 20 days if on 15 20 patients this phase 2 study is done done and if no individual gave any adverse report then it can be tried on a larger sample and a, a structured clinical trial is then conducted which i talk to you according to the research methodology so these three things are followed meticulously and for that quality you must have your own lab chemistry lab pharmacognosy lab otherwise your drug has to be sent to such labs where this are done then the quality medicine at least you have prescribed to the patients the medicine which was of quality and we know the parameters of that quality okay Or, for instance, I mean, a formulation having four ingredients. Four ingredients. And uh, I just change the fourth one depending on my and like. Uh, Then it will be a new formulation. It will be considered right. It will be considered as a new formulation, and for that quality and safety, you have to ascertain. So, as of the those formulations which are presented in the classics, are they accepted? Uh, yes. i so far i know about the uh, drug and cosmetic act for ayurveda it is it is exempted but if you are if you want to make your research uh, widely accepted then they will won't see our drug and cosmetic act scientists will say whatever you have given where is the quality parameter where is the safety parameter okay that is required Uh, which is in Ayurveda 
as per your literature indication you do as in what condition you are going to do which disease uh, uh, sir my what my aim and objective is is not the uh, what's a uh, disease disease is whatever but uh, my what's a aim and objective is uh, uh, see the uh, blood taking the safety and efficacy of the blood taking therapy what what about efficacy on what condition efficacy you will assess so i selected four points sir not points on which problems um uh, uh, sinusitis sinusitis then uh, uh, fatty liver so 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 how will you show your result no i you just simply tell me in sinusitis how will you assess uh, uh, i will make what say i already prepared a one parameter as you already told me because that uh, 1 to 10 you know uh, what is the uh, 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 for sinusitis yes the accepted parameter today is mri okay there was a inflammation in sinuses okay. and mri shows that the mucosa of the paranasal sinuses is inflamed and you gave it therapy after 2 months 1 month again do the and now compare this inflammation has subsided do that parameter of scale is only for pain the other parameter in sinusitis there is a blockage of nose discharge from the nose huh recurrent throat problem these are other associated features with sinusitis so what about the those reduced or not but the ultimate uh, objective will be accepted when you can show that i could reduce inflammation of the mucosa of the paranasal sinuses by giving this blood letting okay then and then someone will accept it even x ray finding is not accepted because x rays observations are hardly uh, very very meticulous okay so in fatty liver you have to go by the ultrasound you have to go the by the uh, blood parameters hmm you rather you select one problem only only one problem is it indicated in fatty liver in uh, like disease in your system blood letting yes if it is indicated then you simply don't make it very broad many diseases many problems one disease uh, isolated problem investigation simple you fulfill one uh, investigation criteria of one disease and you show the change okay that will be much better is there any uh, subjective parameter you already mentioned that uh, is available for i i subjective 
नो सब्जेक्टिव पैरामीटर्स आर ऑलरेडी गिवन इन द लिटरेचर वट आर द सिम्टम्स ऑफ द डिजीज दो ऑल सिम्टम्स आर सब्जेक्टिव पैरामीटर्स सी लाइक इन अवर सिस्टम इफ सम वन गेट्स ए बैड कोल्ड राइनाइटिस इफ इट इज ड्यू टू वात देन क्लियरली डिफरेंट सिम्टम्स आर देयर अन्नदा पीता नासा तनुश्राप प्रवर्तनी है ना ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द नोज वाटरी डिस्चार्ज पेन हेड एंड टेम्पल देन हॉर्सनेस ऑफ वॉइस तो दीज आर द सिम्टम्स सो हॉर्सनेस ऑफ द वॉइस दिस इज वन ऑफ द सिम्टम हाउ यूल यू मे मेयर इट रिकॉर्ड हिज वॉइस वेन ही केम पेन हेड एक यू पुट ऑन द स्केल ठीक है एंड वट अवर्ड ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन वट अवर्ड अवर्ड द ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द नोज हाउ विल यू मेयर इट ऑल दीज हैज टू बी मेड ऑब्जेक्टिफाइड और यू हैव टू न्यूमरेट इट यू हैव टू गिव ए नंबर सो ऑल दोज सिम्टम्स ऑफ द डिजीज गिवन अवर इन अवर लिटरेचर आर सब्जेक्टिव पैरामीटर्स ओके फॉर वट पर्पज यू आर गोइंग टू यूज इट बिकॉज इन ऑयल इफ इट इज इट इज टॉक्सिक बट मे बी ऑयल मे बी टॉक्सिक फ्लावर मे नॉट बी तो फॉर दैट फॉर दैट यू सर्च द लिटरेचर यू विल गेट सम इन्फॉर्मेशन वेदर फ्लावर इज टॉक्सिक और नॉट इफ 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 समन हैज रिपोर्टेड देन बिफोर यू गो हैड एंड इफ यूर सिस्टम इज ऑलरेडी यूजिंग देन दिस विल बी वन ऑफ द कंट्रीब्यूशन इफ ओनली टॉक्सिसिटी ऑफ दिस फ्लावर इज कंडक्टेड this will be contribution after your work if you complete the toxicity study if you complete toxicity next worker will not think out whether it is toxic or not if it is toxic don't use it if it is not no need because this person has already conducted the toxicity study so make a small contribution but concrete contribution theek hai so i think uh, i think uh, for, uh, first of all you search the literature यू कैन ये द्रव्यगुण डिपार्टमेंट में मिल सकते हैं बहुत बड़े बड़े विद्वान हैं वहाँ पर तो वो भी बता देंगे कि है कोई ऐसी समस्या अगर डाउट लगता है अगर कहीं रिपोर्टेड है तब तो करिए तब तो करिए अगर नहीं है तो आप एक लीवर प्रॉब्लम लीजिए कॉमन सी लीवर प्रॉब्लम लीजिए ठीक है और कॉमन प्रॉब्लम सेलेक्ट करने में ना हमें हमारे लिटरेचर में तो लिख दिया कि लीवर के लिए अच्छा है बट कौन सी लीवर की लीवर की तो आ, हजारों प्रॉब्लम है कौन सी प्रॉब्लम तो वहां वहां आपको अपने सिस्टम की बहुत ही समझदारी से अप्रोच करनी है कि ये प्लांट जो है वो कौन सी फॉर्मूलेशन में आया अकेला आया तो उन्होंने क्या वो आ, किस प्रॉब्लम में लीवर की भी किस प्रॉब्लम में बताया आपके भी क्लासीफाइड है कि वात के द्वारा है पित्त के द्वारा है कि कफ के द्वारा है तो वात के द्वारा होने वाली जो प्रॉब्लम लीवर की प्रॉब्लम है उसके क्या सिम्टम है तो वैसी डिजीज आज मॉडर्न में कौन सी है हेपेटाइटिस है एल्कोलिक है नॉन एल्कोलिक फैटी है कौन सी है तो तब आपको उस प्रकार से ध्यान से फिक्स करना है आप ब्लाइंडली कुछ भी कर देंगे यू विल लैंड नो वेयर ठीक है तो ये तो 
जैसे कोई तो हम लोग जैसे भी जैसे हमने कुसुम फूल का लिया तो हम आयुर्वेदिक का प्रोफाइल यूज कर सकते हैं यस yes. आपको आपको करना क्या है आपको आपको सी सी आर ए से मिलिए ये काम मैं करवा के आया हूँ बहुत सारे वहाँ पर हिमालयन प्लांट्स का ऐसा बनाया और हमने साथ में ये इन्फॉर्मेशन रखवाई है आप सोरिपा को प्रोफाइल दीजिए और आयुर्वेद में भी इसको इसी इस प्रॉब्लम के लिए यूज़ कर दें देखिए आप बुरा नहीं मानिएगा ये दोनों सिस्टम अलग नहीं है ये दोनों सिस्टम बिल्कुल अलग नहीं है केवल हिमालयन जोन में रहने के कारण वहाँ जो सोर्सेज अवेलेबल थे कुछ सोर्सेज को ऐड कर लिया गया है जो नहीं मिलते थे वहां पर अवेलेबल नहीं होते उनको छोड़ दिया है अप्रोच इज सेम अप्रोच इज सेम बट कल्चरली यू सर्वाइव्ड विद दिस सिस्टम अप्रोच सो इट्स आवर सो ये आपका है हमारा है ये इसलिए है ये कल्चरली हमारे साथ जुड़ा हुआ इसलिए हमें इसको बढ़ाना है और इसको कंटिन्यू करना है ये अप्रोच है वरना ये कभी भी मतभेद लेके मन में नहीं रखिए कि ये आयुर्वेद का है ये सोरे पा का है नो यू कैन वी शुड यूज ईच अदर्स इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर द बेटरमेंट ऑफ द सिस्टम बेटरमेंट ऑफ द सिस्टम ओके सी 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 आई आई गॉट यू आई गॉट यू सो पेल्विक इन्फ्लामेटरी डिजीज सो वट आर द सिम्टम्स एंड वट यू वट यू वट यू कॉल फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी टेक वन प्रॉब्लम लिकोरिया वाइट डिस्चार्ज हाउ डू यू सी दिस वाइट डिस्चार्ज इन सोअर एपर सिस्टम ऑफ मेडिसिन so which dosh is involved in that so in sorry for the white dishes is mainly inflamed kaf dosh kaf dosh okay you you forget the causes of what, what modern has given now you you know you plan your treatment according to the kaf dosh and what are the drugs which are used for kaf you you give uh, those medicines locally For local application as well as for oral, and what is the diet restriction? What is the uh, behavioral changes? You make all those changes, okay? And uh, for your uh, more objectivity, you take the smear. Whether it is fungal, whether it is bacterial, you get it tested, pre-treatment and post-treatment, okay? So. so be this much simple in the beginning the future generation after you put the baseline of research in a simplified manner future generation will think more big okay but you make a base so this is the problem in our literature this problem is <coughs> due to this uh, dosha kaf and we made a kaf har or anti kaf approach to this problem and we got this much of result and uh, uh, the discharge having the culture on culture discharge having fungus or bacteria and what was there okay and uh, after treatment there was no fungus or no that's all <sighs> oh yes yes मोनो मीनोपोजल सिंड्रोम पोस्ट मीनोपोजल सिंड्रोम 
Okay, okay. Same, same thing is in Ayurved. Same thing, okay. See, Ayurved says that this uh, menstrual cycle or bleeding is the byproduct of our blood. Okay, blood. And when it starts decreasing and ultimately ceasing, it means that blood is coming down. It is depleting. When there is a tissue depleting, blood is one of the tissue, important tissue, and and before that, blood is rasa. What do you call to the rasa? Out of the food, whatever is absorbed, and what do you call it? Thama. So, so this is the depletion of rasa and rakta. and whenever there is a depletion of tissues vat always get aggravated and this is natural phenomena and those who are already vat dominant they will experience these features not all if a female is a very weak debilitated she will had much problems like this so the very simple approach uh, one thing she has to be educated that this is a natural phenomena it happens with everyone and this this way this is going to harm your body no way if menstrual uh, cessation is there stopping is there not going to harm your body anyway you have to put your diet normally now what you do for vata you always give a sign na you uh, enhance her diet her digestion so that much of the taken food should be absorbed nutrient should be absorbed and metabolism should become normal so that the required material in the body are uh, repleted and thirdly what are the medicines to be given and oral medicines are sufficient in that and rasayan is to be given okay you plan what rasayan and if it is from himalayan medicine the sign will certainly work okay so that is the approach so don't leave your system we know much about uh, from the modern medicine but don't leave your system your approach you have a knowledge have a knowledge from all sciences but use that knowledge for your science okay that's why ayurved say एकम शास्त्र अध्यानो न विद्या शास्त्र विनिश्चय तस्मात् बहुश्रुत शास्त्र विजानिया चिकित्सक ए फिजिशियन शुड हैव द नॉलेज ऑफ ऑल ब्रांचेस ऑफ साइंस ठीक है Which we can publish under the Sorry Club branch. Any uh, any journal will publish, but your language should be understandable. Your all technical terms should be translated, either in bracket or in italic. You translate them. In the beginning, this will be required. Otherwise, no one will process. If 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 the peer reviewer uh, person cannot understand, then how he will? Okay. So you can you can send to CCRS also. CCRS are having two journals: one on drug research and other is on clinical research.
बहुत अच्छी चाय पिलाई चाय के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सिटी आ रही सो सो इफ दिस इज नॉट देयर यू शुड स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन इट यू शुड स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन इट ओके बट लेटर ऑन वेन इज सम रिसर्च इज आर पब्लिश देन एवरी वन विल से दैट वेयर इट इज रजिस्टर्ड सो इफ यू इनिशिएट फ्रॉम द इंस्टीट्यूट टू राइट टू द मिनिस्ट्री एंड हुज एवर इज द मीडिया आई डोंट नो वट इज द प्रोसेस मीडियम यू आर टू डू ए सी टी आर आई रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर सो आर ए पर सर्च इज नीडेड टू बी क्रिएटेड सो नेसेसरी स्टेप्स में भी राइट सो आई थिंक नाउ इज देयर सम वन इन मिनिस्ट्री फ्रॉम द सो आर ए पर सिस्टम सम टेक्निकल पर्सन Advisory board is there. So, who is chairman of that advisory board? I don't know because uh, most of the members are from the other systems and from I uh, saw it for this chairman name and now uh, uh, they should get from our minister. So um, you ask them to try for that. Okay, can I? आपका पर्पज सॉल्व हुआ मेरे आने से इफ इट इज सो देन आई एम हैप्पी देन आई एम हैप्पी हो गया आप तो I think there is no need to uh, introduce uh, because we all know very well. And uh, Professor uh, K S Diman is a uh, former uh, C C R A S uh, Director General uh, and the Professor of Department of Shalya Shalakya Faculty of Ayurveda and C S uh, Banaras University. Uh, professor uh, visited uh, our institute once before. This is his second time. And this time, uh, mainly for the uh, PhD scholars uh, to guide or to write uh, research. Uh, and then uh, uh, this time, the lecture is very uh, interesting and very informative. Uh, on behalf of the Department of Sorepa, I would like to uh, thank you for this valuable uh, lecture. And we request uh, you to kindly of visit again in future uh, to share your vast knowledge and experience. Thank you very much. My pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. With lot of. <laughs>